We've actually got a lovely AK replica, and this is the SA J09 from Spectner Arms. And the reason I say it's so lovely is because obviously it's in a lovely black finish on here, mostly made from steel, so obviously it's got a nice weight from it, as well as a great look and feel to this thing. This design's got a foldable stock, and also it's got, more importantly, a gate aster. So obviously it's got a really responsive and accurate system in here, so I'm looking forward to trying this when I'm on the range. You also get included in the box with this model two mid-cap 130 round magazines, which is great, and it'll keep you going for some time. So what's the key features of the SA J09 then? This is the Edge series. So this thing is actually upgraded already, so obviously you've got that gate aster in here, which is gonna give it some real response responsive trigger performance. To make this AK even cooler, you've got a foldable stock, which just allows you to reduce the size, clip it in place, and then obviously you can use this for your CQB, but also your woodland play as well. This is gonna be great for sort of all scenarios. Typical with your AKs, along the top, you've got your nice adjustable iron sights, easily adjusted like so. A nice short muzzle on this, which just gives it that nice compact design and look. You've got your functional cocking handle on the right hand side. And then on the right hand side, you've got your selector switch, which in the top position is in your safe. One flick down is in your fully automatic. And then at the bottom is your semi-automatic. Finally, removing the magazine couldn't be easier. You've got this little trigger underneath behind the magazine, which you press in to release. And then inserting the magazine couldn't be easier at a slight angle, push it back in. Your battery is nicely housed at the top of this rifle and it's nice and easy to get to. At the back here you've got a little trigger which you just press in, which releases the top compartment, exposing your battery, allowing you to interchange and swap that out nice and easily, popping it back on. So on to loading the J09 then. So as mentioned you've got your mid cap 130 round magazine, so this is going to require a speed loader and some decent quality BBs. Fill your speed loader first. So then using your speed loader, filling up your magazine from the top. Insert it into your AK, and just remember, this goes in at a slight angle. Click it in place. You're then good to go with this rifle, and you can start shooting. So now we're locked and loaded with this thing. We're gonna take it over to the range where we're gonna test the FPS. We're gonna test the accuracy and the power on the range, and then I'm gonna give it a little final verdict to see what I think of this thing. So firstly, we're gonna fire semi-automatic. And now for full auto. So what do I think of the J09 after testing it? I'm actually quite excited to review this because that was really fun. It's got a lovely responsive trigger due to that gay taster and it's just a really nice snappy sound when you pull the trigger. So obviously in your single fire mode and your auto, it's just got a really, really satisfying popping sound when you're shooting. I think it's worth pointing out that when you're holding this thing, it's just got really nice weight to it. So obviously it's a nice replica weight but it's not too heavy. And then it mostly being metal, just gives it that real authenticity. So when you're holding this thing, you've actually got a really nice rifle that you're able to run around with, either in the full stock extended position or in the folded position, obviously in your CQB. So it's very, very versatile. As for the sights and the accuracy, it's actually bang on, so no complaints there. All in all, this thing being upgraded with the Gate Aster, the nice design, nice black matte finish to this is actually really good and I definitely would recommend this thing. It's a lovely addition. I'd love to hear your comments down below on the J09. What do you think of it? Do you like the look? Does it sort of meet your satisfaction and needs? Do you own one? What are your thoughts on it? I'd love to read and respond to all of your comments. Make sure to like and subscribe as well. We'd love to have you back for all the reviews. Until the next time, we'll see you soon.